Okay, I'm taking a reprieve from my green screen today. But anyhow, um, you know, for a long time I've been disturbed that enough pundits weren't really placing the blame of these 130 plus thousand deaths where they belong, which is on the incompetence of the president and the material effect his policies have had on killing Americans. Well, uh, Beschlock did a good job, actually a great job in really putting the blame where it belongs without sounding as if he uh, were piling on on the president. Check this out and then we'll take it on the other side. Michael, to your point, uh, most surveys, or at least the survey monkey poll that NBC News did as well, suggest that 67% of Americans uh, reject how President Trump, or disapprove rather, of how President Trump has handled this. Uh, from your historical expertise, how would and how have other presidents handled uh, national health crises like this? At the very beginning, a president would say, I've got a lot of power as president. I've got all sorts of resources. I've got a public platform. I'm going to use all that to keep Americans as safe as they can possibly be and avoid cases in which their lives are in jeopardy. And Donald, from the, from the beginning, has not followed that fundamental lesson that every other president does, especially in modern times. The result is that there are a lot of people who are not alive in America tonight who might have been alive had we had a more effective leader. Now that goes without saying, right? Yes, if it weren't for the what the president has instituted, we all know that thousands, tens of thousands of Americans would be alive today. He did a great job in pointing out exactly the genesis of the problem. And if more of the pundits did that, Americans' mindset would change and start a certain blame where it belongs and acting accordingly.